Hi guys, welcome to Shop RJ Pacini for great deals on eBay. Today I'm going to talk. I'm going to do a demo video on the Interceptor 3.0 helicopter, and uh, I'm going to show you some pictures. I'm going to bump out of here really quick. I'm going to show you some pictures, and uh, then I'm going to show you. The, then we'll go, we'll go to the demo video. So let's, uh, without wasting any time, let's go to it. Here you see over here the Interceptor 3.0. It's an indoor-outdoor flight helicopter. Um, however, I wouldn't fly it indoors, <laughs> only because if you have any valuable things like knickknacks or statues or whatever, um, you know, this thing lands into the house. If it's not flown correctly, it could probably damage one of those things, you know, one of those items that you have in your house. So I wouldn't recommend it. Um, <clears throat> this is what you see here. Is what you're gonna get the uh, what the box you get the original box, the instruction booklet here, the helicopter, an extra a tail rotor blade. Um, the AC adapter and the remote control and move right along that's the additional part you get that's an extra tail blade, uh, tail blade for the rudder and these two here go for the uh, counterbalancing thing there uh, I guess if they break you have two replacements here that's what came with it of course the AC adapter the remote control with the remote control you have the uh, left, what do you call it the, the trim here you know, it's a little left and right you got the on-off, of course, and you got normal and pro. Uh, I'm not really sure of this. I didn't read up too much on the instructions of it, but uh, you got these two settings here. <clears throat> it also comes with the telescopic antenna, of course, and that's how it looks. Oh, let's go back. I went too fast here. That's how it looks with the antenna. Uh, it's not extended all the way. The uh, light it's on just to show you that it does work. Uh, here's the booklet. There's the helicopter itself. A helicopter is in uh, you know nice condition considering it does have some minor marks on the blades. Uh, this is pre-owned, so no doubt it was being used. You know, it was it was used helicopter, but it still works good. Tested it out, works great. Uh, no problem with it. That's the side view of it. And I like the way it's made. Like this here, this tubular metal here and the supports. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty well made, and you got the aluminum casing over here. The rest of this, I believe, is all plastic, but uh, otherwise, it's made pretty well. You can see it's a nice looking helicopter. It's about a foot long, you know, and uh, that's the side of it. This is the front view. The uh, glass over here, well, the, uh, this must supposed to be glass. Uh, this here has got like a little marks on it, so from, I guess, like I said again, uh, if somebody who was inexperienced, didn't use it properly, uh, might have crashed it at one time, but it's not damaged, there's no cracks on or anything like that, just to let you know. You can see from the pictures, there's no damage on it. Uh, the blades do have some kind of wear on them, like I said, you know. Uh, like I said, this is, this is a pre-owned one, but otherwise it's pretty clean considering uh, being used. That's a close-up of it. I like the way they did the uh, metal chassis over here. The way you know the, the framing over here, it's all metal. Uh, and one of the other previous videos I looked at, uh, the landing gear was made metal, but they did this. Uh, they this is plastic. Uh, I guess they did it for cost-effective. You know, uh, it's cheaper to, I guess, manufacture it with the plastic rather than metal. But everything else is metal over here. As this part goes. That's what I like about it. <clears throat> it's a tail rudder. I thought this was all plastic. You can see this is metal over here. That's the back view of the tail rudder. That's the side view. And again, you can see it's all metal over here. This here wrapped around here, I think it's the antenna. Um, I don't believe this, you unla you know, un unravel this here, because you're not going to want wire hanging down. Uh, the way it's the way it is here, folks, I, like I said, if you buy it, it's yours, but I wouldn't unravel. I would leave it just the way it is. I don't really see too many helicopters with wires hanging down. I don't know if that's totally up to you. There's the back tail rudder again. Close up, that's the box. The box is in okay condition. Uh, I had to reinforce the inside with a little tape on it because you know, I guess whoever got it, when they got it, they were anxious. Uh, they must have ripped certain parts out of it, but I do have the uh, tie straps down, tie down straps to it. And I'm gonna, you know, put it back the best I can in there to make it, you know, look, you know, formative, you know what I'm saying? It'll uh, look like it was, like it should have been packaged. That's the back of it. It's the top part. Side view and the back. Oh, and we got back there. Oh, we don't want that one. <laughs> anyway, guys, so uh, in the next video, I'm going to bump out of here. Uh, let's go back over here really quick here. And um, the next video is going to be the demo video. Uh, so it's going to be kind of like two separate, but it's going to be spiced together, of course. And I'll, I'll show you that I powers on. I'll talk a little more about it. And uh, we'll take it from there. Uh, in the meantime, guys, I will see you in the next video. So uh, please don't go anywhere. Hang out and check it out. If, uh, this may be a buying decision for you. It might help you out. Um, and I just want to say in closing before I forget, 
Uh, if you are new to my YouTube channel, my name is Richard Bassini from RichardBassini.com. My eBay user ID, in case you want to follow me on eBay, I mean, uh, yeah, eBay, uh, it's, uh, it's got dashes in it. I'm sorry about the name, folks. It's shop dash RJ Bassini dash four dash great dash deals. I know a lot of dashes. One day it will change the name, but right now it's going to stay for, stay for it is right now. Um, and again, I do these demo videos and intro videos and sneak peek videos to give you, the potential buyer, a little insight as to what's you know what I'm selling and stuff like that. And it's basically on a first come first serve. In this particular case, this video is geared and it's going to be embedded uh, with the listing, as you know. It's you, that's how you got to this video uh, when you clicked on the listing. So I hope this video helps out in any way. This demo video. Um, if you have any questions. Please don't hesitate. Contact me. You know, I'll be more than happy to answer any questions I can. Um, I don't know too much about it. I don't own it, so um, you know, I can only tell you what what I can read in the instructions. You know, uh, if you need to do a little more research on it, you could probably go on YouTube and check out other people that uh, have done uh, these demo takes, you know, demo videos on theirs with their helicopters, and they can tell you a little more about it. Um, I didn't buy this here to keep it, although it is tempting. I like. I wouldn't mind having it, but. Uh, Who's got time to fly helicopters when you got to, you know, spend your time with the business? Um, but anyway, uh, check out the next video. So stick around and look at the demo video, and uh, hopefully that'll uh, give you a little more insight as to what it's all about. Okay, talk to you in that next video, guys. Bye. Back. Yeah, this is uh, we're going to be doing a quick little demo on it. I'm just going to show you it starts up. Just going to talk a little about it, and I'm not going to fly it outside because I don't have nobody to. Uh, move the camera around me. I don't have a cell phone. I can't do a remote control and cell phone, you know, and uh, video at the same time. So um, let's get started. And uh, like I said, I'm just going to just show you how it goes on, talk a little about it, and that's it. I'll power it up, and uh, you know, I'm not going to make a fly around here. It's going to make it just show you, show you on the backboard over there. So let's get started. Okay, folks. Here what we have here is the Interceptor 3.0. It's radio controlled. It's a, they say indoor outdoor helicopter, but you'd have to have a nice size room to uh, really fly this thing around. <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, I wouldn't fly it around the house because for simple reason is if you got expensive vases or china or something, it hits something, it can knock it off the shelf and break it. Uh, that wouldn't do you any good and uh, <laughs> you'd probably be upset with me and in any the, in the intern of it all. So anyway, uh, let me talk a little about it. Uh, this is a pre-owned item. Okay, The box is in uh, decent so it's in okay condition, as you can see over here. So I want to show you really quick here. Um, I had to retape some of the stuff in here to make the box a little better than what it is. You can see it's got a little wear over here. Um, I mean, it still it still comes with its original box. Okay, um, you can see here. All right, this is what we got going on. Um, it does have the packing material. Now I'm gonna have to try to pack it up the best way I can. I'm gonna have to look at a picture of somebody that owns one and try to repack it. I believe this is where the remote control goes on a helicopter. Um, they give you all the stuff over here. Uh, let me just take this off here without ripping my, my board over here. I had tape on here to bag it up. I'm going to take this off really quick here. So we don't need this on just yet. Okay, so let me just put this over here for time being. And uh, here is the packing material. I'm going to try to pack it in the best way I can. You can see it's got the wire in here and stuff. So uh, I'm going to try to repack it the way I think it would look. Here's the covers, I guess. The, I'm not sure this is for the helicopter, I'm not sure. But uh, here we have the packing material here. It's the original bag that came with it. Um, of course, you see you get your instructions with it, which I showed you in the beginning. Um, you know, without this here, uh, it probably wouldn't do you any good, but uh, it's always nice to have instructions. So you got the instructions here. Okay. It's a total of six pages, three in the front, you know, three on the side and three in the back. Yeah. Talks a little about it. All right. That. So we got that there. Now, from what I understand, um, let me get talk about this here. He got an extra set of uh, counter rotating, I guess the uh, tail rotor blade, whatever counter rotating, I'm thinking of something else. Uh, this is for the back blade here, which would be this thing here. I guess in case it gets broken, so you have a spare one here. I'm not sure what these two are over here. Oh, okay, I see what these are, folks. These two, if you could see them, this here, of course, is the blade, the tail rotor blade that goes back here. Uh, on the helicopter, on this area, I hold the helicopter, it goes back over here. Okay, that's where this goes. And these two little things here, these little clips we can see here, these little round things here, 
they go on a balancing thing here. You can see right up front here. See, they go right here. I guess in case this thing gets broken or whatever. Um, that's the only things that give you replacement. The blades, I guess they're durable enough to hold up, I guess. Um, I tried it around. I'm not good at really flying these. Helicopters, I heard, are pretty hard to fly. Uh, I'm not an experienced person at it. The helicopter um, is in fairly decent condition. It does have some marks on it. Uh, you can see we've probably played with it one time. This is pre-owned, by the way, just to let you know. A little dusty here. Um, it's the This is the 05, 052 Interceptor one. Uh, I like the way it's made. Uh, I always wanted to get one. I'm going to get a larger one. This is about a foot long. Um, I always wanted to get a larger one, you know, because uh, I wanted to see a flying a helicopter. I think it was more challenging than a plane, but I think planes are nice too. But I really, right now, I don't have the time. I was going to keep this one, to be honest with you, but um, I don't have time to fly it. <laughs> and uh, not only that, to just give you guys a heads up, when the helicopter is fully charged, the little red light over here will come on, right? I mean, when it's fully charged. When you're charging it, the red light will come on. When it's fully charged, it's charged up, the light will go off. Here's the uh, power button here, on and off, whatever. You can see the light blinking, right? And then it stopped. Uh, for what I was told, now somebody, I was watching some old videos on this here from 2011, I think. That's when they might have came out. Uh, this is, a, I believe it's a Radio Shack. I believe Radio Shack was selling this. I don't think this is a Radio Shack one. Let me see. Uh, I thought I said something that said Radio Shack. Oh, yes, it's Radio Shack over here. Uh right there so I don't know if Radio Shack they made this for Radio Shack or this is a Radio Shack brand I don't think so uh, I, I call the Intercept 3.0 so I don't know but um, you know it, it's made pretty good but anyway I like what I like about it is the frame here it's like aluminum frame the way they made it see the metal housing here and the back you know, the back there supports a metal now I was watching on some of the other videos that the landing gear Look like some of it was metal like this, and it looks like they did away with it, put plastic here. But uh, in any event, it is a nice helicopter. It's made pretty well. It seems it's got like a little piece of metal back here. It's not like it's, it's not like a Chinsky thing, you know. I mean, it, it's plastic, but I'm saying, but they didn't like make this housing plastic. I guess they can't, you know. And everything works pretty good. I'm gonna like you know turn it on, show you it works and stuff like that. Uh, I'll make it take off and then put it back on again. But I'm not going to do too much with it now. They have this here taped up. Um, I don't know if that's the antenna. I don't know if that's supposed to. I don't think that's supposed to hang. I don't think so. Uh, I guess that's for your receiver, so you can receive, you know, to get a better signal. Um, I, I wouldn't take it off. I wouldn't, you know, do that because I don't know too much about it. Now, here's what I was told on some of the old videos. That's what I'm getting back to. Uh, on some of the old videos I've seen, uh, they say you let it charge for about 45 minutes to an hour. Now, this here was pretty much dead. The battery was pretty dead on it. I had it in maybe, I don't know, unless, I'm not saying it's a supercharged thing, but it went off unless I didn't use up all the juice on it, but um, I would say within 10 minutes it was charged up, okay? Now, from what I understand the instruction, even from the old videos, you get six minutes of flight with this here, okay? So, uh, and the way you'll know that it's juice is going down on it, it's getting low, is a little, this light from what I've seen, I'm not a pro on this here, and this is not my, I don't own it. But I remember seeing to see the little light will start to blink. So here's the thing I said in my uh, sneak peek video: if you are the person who does buy this here, uh, you know it's gonna. I'm gonna show you it's gonna work. It's working. It's gonna work in condition. So uh, with that in mind, knowing that it's working condition, it's not gonna be broken or anything. Uh, just to give you a heads up. But if you do get this here, you are the lucky bidder of this here, and you do buy this helicopter. Um, if this thing's like two, three, I don't know how many feet, I don't know how high it goes. Let's just say it's two or three, four hundred feet in the air, and you know you see that light blinking. Uh, for yourself, I'd hope you bring it down. You know, you know, let the helicopter come down, bring it down nice and safe. Because if it loses all its juice up there and it comes down, it's going to crash and it's going to probably break. Something's going to break on. And I'll be honest with you, folks. Uh, if that is the case, I will not. I cannot refund you on this here. So please keep that in mind. Um, I will not. Re I can't. I can't refund you on it because I can't have a broken item given back to me, saying you know it doesn't work or it's broken. This item is not broken. As you can see, it is all intact. It's all in piece. You know, it's all in one piece, not in pieces. Uh, the blades are not broken. This is the way it's supposed to be. Okay, that's the balancing thing here. That's the way it's supposed to be. The wings do fold. Okay, and as you can see, that's why I'm doing the video too to show you that this is in well, functional working condition. There's nothing damaged or broke on it. Okay, you got the tail ruddy here, nothing snapped off on it, everything is all intact. 
okay so just keep that in mind uh, if you are like I said if you are the lucky buyer of this here the bitter um, when it's on solid that means you still got juice but again if you see it blinking okay bring it back down to the ground you know what I'm saying let it bring it back to its landing position because if it's too high up in the air and that thing's blinking and it loses its juice it's gonna come crashing down and again like I said like I, re I don't want to re keep repeating myself if it comes back to me if you send it back to me and you send it and it's broken I, I will not I can't refund you okay I'm sorry I, I can't re I can't take a broken item back because I'm not selling it broken and uh, the only way I will take it back is if you know um, you know you guys just decide you don't want it you know what I'm saying uh, and that's basically it but otherwise everything is good on it um, here's the remote control remote control on here uh, it takes a 9 volt battery which is not included you're gonna have to buy your own 9 volt battery it pops back here like that okay so you'll you'll need to buy your own 9 volt battery um, I don't supply batteries with them for the simple reasons I use the batteries for my own purposes to test the units out you know uh, when you turn it on the light will blink and then after it gets uh, synced with that it stops whatever it is stop it's a telescopic antenna okay it comes up like that um, when I send this to you, I'm going to power it off for now, but when I send this to you, this will be unscrewed. I'm going to unscrew it out of here, okay? I'm going to take it out because I don't want to leave it in there because I'm afraid just in case something happens, it gets jarred. I don't want this to get bent. This is in perfect condition. You can see there's no bends on it. It's perfectly straight, okay? Uh, one of the guys was, one of the kids was doing a, a demo on it. He bent his antenna as he was doing a demo on it. Okay, you got to be careful with these things. So uh, that's it. You can see it's perfectly straight. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay, so you got that. All right, and uh, I'm going to put it back in here just to show you that. You know, I'm going to power it up. I'm not going to make it fly around because, like I said, uh, I'm not good with it, and I don't want to get it damaged. Um, that's the deal with that. Uh, here's the charger, and it tells you for use with the helicopter for use with the. <clears throat> you can see right there. It says for use with the interceptor helicopter. So don't use any other charger than this one here. Uh, you probably can't burn out the unit, burn it out like that. You could damage the motor. Uh, also, I was told that from what, what the other guys were saying on theirs, um, you don't want to overcharge them either because I heard that could weaken out. It's got some kind of lithium. It's almost like a lithium battery, but it's a rechargeable one. So that's what you got basically going on. It will be packaged back in the box, okay, the box that it came with. I'm going to try to pack it up the best I could. Now, you're probably wondering, well, if it came all packaged up, why'd you take it out of the box? I, when I do demos, especially on pre-owned items, I need to check them. I don't second guess, okay? I just, and this ain't like a smoke and mirrors thing here. You know, I don't do magic here. I want to make sure when this thing gets to you, it's going to be in working, optimal condition. So, uh, if people are wondering, why did you take it out? I took it out because it needs to be tested and I need to, it's got to be checked, I can't, and like I said, I'm not going to just, even though it's in a box, I don't know if this thing works, I'm not going to just second guess and say, okay, yeah, it works, and put it in my description, so yes, I did take it out to check it out, um, I will try to repack it the best way I can, I don't, like I said, I know how it was packed, but I'm going to try to, I'm sure it's not rocket science to refigure, you know, to repackage it, and uh, we'll take it from there, okay, but you are getting the original box, and what you see here, what you see laid out on this table here, this is my remote control here. What you see laid out here is what you're going to be getting. Okay, this is it. There's nothing more to it, so just keep that in mind. Okay, I'm going to move the stuff off the table. Okay, and uh, leave the helicopter there, of course, in the box. And I'm just going to power it on. Now, I'm not going to do nothing fancy. Okay, uh, I'm just going to power it on, and you know, let you see that it works. Okay, I'm not going to even raise the telescopic antenna on it. All right, so to power it on. You would just hit this little button over here. You'll see the red light going on. It's blinking. Okay. You can see it's blinking there. And I'm going to power this on, and this is blinking. Now, once it sinks up, the helicopter stopped. So now that that's it. Okay. As you can see, I just I just hit very sensitive. They got two modes here, folks. Look, you got uh, normal and pro. Now I don't know about the pro mode. I guess that's it. It makes it more responsive. I couldn't tell you that. There. I don't know. But anyway, you can see there's a solid red light here. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a solid red light. I had to keep it at a distance because I keep it too close up. I mean, I could focus in on here. I'll zoom in on it really quick here. Um, let's see here. You know, I, I, I want to keep this thing here so you can see it. Okay, 
Uh, that looks pretty good right there. I'm sorry, folks. And you can see the lights on there. And I'm just going to hit the uh, little switch here. This is the speed. And this is the one that goes left and right. This is your trim level switch here, left to right. And like I said, you get two modes here, normal and uh, pro. Okay, I'm leaving it normal because I don't know how to work this thing that good. Like I said, I tried it. I'm not really good, but here we go. I'm going to back it up a little. Okay, so you can see it. I'm going to back it up a little here like that. There go. Okay. The more and the more you give it thrust on this here, it will lift up. Now, I like to make it fancy, but when you move the level this way, this one here, it'll move the helicopter left or right. If you notice, <clears throat> I'm gonna try it sideways. If you notice, the tail one ain't going off right just yet. Okay? okay. Now, if you hit this, this one here, now when you go down, it goes like that. So you can see everything is functional. You give it more, you turn it this way, you move the lever this way, the helicopter moves that way. Spins it around. Alright. Alright, and as you get a little more gear, it will start to lift up. But see, that's what happens, alright? It's, it's not, it's not going to damage anything, but you see, that's what happens here. So let's see if I can just back it up a little here. Alright, I'll keep it right there. Again, I'm not a pro at this here, so. But you can see when it goes up here, the more and the more you get this throttle, it goes up. But that's what we got going on, folks. I don't want to keep playing with it because, you know, I don't want to damage it. Not that I'm saying it's going to break, but I don't know. I mean, it's made pretty well. Um, where's the button? I'll hit show it off. Again, just to recap, let me shut this off here. Uh, just to recap, on this particular, when this, on this model here, when the battery's, when it's off, when you plug it in, this light's going to come on right over here. You can see that there. It's a little light right there. That light's going to come on. It's going to come on red. When it's fully charged, it's going to be in that position. It's going to be off. It's going to be clear like that. When it blinks, you only get, and now with this helicopter, you only get six, from what I understand, you get six minutes of flight. So keep that in mind, folks. I'm not saying you got to stop watch, or, <laughs> but just keep that in mind. You're going to get, you're going to get, from what I understand, reading instructions and from what the other guys that's had them said, uh, you get six minutes of flight time with this, yeah. So keep that in mind. Uh, there's nothing else I can tell you about it. Uh, everything is intact. Nothing's broken here. As you can see, the the balance, the balancing here is okay. The the little extra things here, the part here that they gave you, those are still good. The tail for like the tail blade is good. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not broken or anything. Okay. Uh, everything else is in, intact. The landing gear is not broken. Uh, it's got it taped up. I, I'm gonna leave it that way. See so over here. It's taped up. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed. I would think. It would be like that because you're not going to want wires hanging around and flying a helicopter, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to want to have this. Maybe you do, I don't know. But me personally, I would leave it just the way it is, okay? But again, that's totally up to you how you want to do it. Um, I, I do offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on these things here. And again, uh, just to keep in mind, if it comes back, if it is broken and it is, you know, because of, you know, not proper, you know, properly used, I, I cannot take it back broken, so uh, please be careful and keep that in your mind. You know, keep that in mind uh, when it comes to making any bids or purchasing of this uh, little helicopter. It works great. Um, it's pretty strong. It's got a nice strong motor on there for a pre-owned one, and uh, it does have minor little scuff marks on the blades. Like I said, this is pre-owned, so apparently somebody used it. Like you can see here, it's got a little wearage on the, bra uh, the this blade here. I think all of them have little scuff marks on them, as you can see. Okay, this one has some, looks like some paint that's missing on it. <laughs> uh, right up here, a little paint here is missing. It will be in the description that the blades do have some uh, marks on them, probably from the prior use of the helicopter, you know, uh, the previous owner. That has some marks on it. Uh, the front has a little marking on it over here. I don't know if you can see that right there. It's got a little marking on it. And uh, that's what we got going on, folks. Otherwise, it's a nice helicopter. It really is. It's, uh, it works pretty good. Here's the uh, bottom of it, looks good. And again, I like the idea that they use metal, no plastic. As far, I mean, the other stuff is plastic, but I like the idea of the metal housing and the way they did that there. It's really made well. And that, the little uh, motor in here that they use, I like the way it operates too, how this thing here, how they got the, I guess the drive shaft goes through here, whatever, when this is on. 
and uh, it connects to this end and makes it work like that. It's, it's really a cool little item. It really is. But anyway, uh, again, this video is for the uh, Interceptor 3.0052 Interceptor Helicopter. Okay? If you got any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, that's all I can tell you about it. That's it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I uh, hope it helped out in any way. And uh, talk to you soon. Bye now.